But I've always wondered, how does our body cope with the cold? Well, who better to explain than Blue Peter scientist Steve Mould. Steve Mould! <laughs> Mate, always a pleasure seeing hey, you. How's it going? I'm good, I'm very good Hi, indeed. Steve. Now, mate, let, let's set this straight. Tell everyone I wasn't scared, it was because I was freezing. <laughs> well, look, I don't know whether you were scared or not, but the reason you were shivering Ooh. then is because when we get cold, our bodies make us shiver. It's an involuntary thing, mm -hmm. and when we shiver, it's our muscles working away, and when our muscles work, they right. generate heat. So shivering's a great way to keep ourselves warm in the cold. It's like a bit of central heating. Yeah, exactly, that's quite nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, what I did notice was that my fingers went really numb and my nose as well. Why is that? Uh, well, that's because it's really important to keep your internal organs uh, warm when it's cold. So uh, what our bodies do is they restrict the flow of blood mm -hmm. to our fingers and our toes. Um, and our feet? Yeah, and our feet. And, and so they stay cold, right, to make sure that our, the important organs stay warm and functioning. OK, so you're here to show us some cool science-y stuff. You're oh, going to be yeah, showing us this the is extreme great. sign of side of cold, aren't you? I've got some extremely yeah, cold it. liquid cold here. <laughs> it's called liquid nitrogen. Have you yeah. heard of liquid yes. nitrogen? Yes. Nitrogen is in the air, isn't it? Uh, nitrogen is normally a gas. It's in the air. Most of the gas around us it. is nitrogen. <laughs> this is dangerously cold because mm -hmm. nitrogen turns into a liquid at minus 196 degrees. So that's how cold this is here. It's giving off cold air, oh, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Now, it's quite dangerous because anything you stick in there mm -hmm. is going to freeze in just a matter of seconds. Okay. Can I stick this in? Uh, we want to stick that. There we go. Okay. So we're going to stick this flower in and see what happens. All right. What's going on here, man? Okay. So uh, there's a lot of water inside this flower. Yeah. Okay. And all that water is freezing into ice. So if you pull that flower out now. Yeah. Up. Oh. In fact, it's already got hot. I'm going to oh. grab this here. Here we go. Here's the actual <laughs> thing. Let's see. <laughs> It's like glass. It's like it's glass. <laughs> because ice is brittle, so it just breaks apart. Now, I'm going to try and make a different kind of ice, oh, okay? Yeah. I'm going to try and freeze carbon dioxide. Come on, okay? let's see it, let's see um, it. How do we, we make carbon dioxide when we breathe. So okay. There's a lot of carbon dioxide in our, um, in, in our, in our uh, breath, mm -hmm. uh, but this is a balloon full of carbon okay. dioxide. Okay. okay, I'm going to stick this And this is the into... liquid nitrogen we're using. Exactly, early, so we're going to use the liquid nitrogen to make it cold, okay? Right. So you can see it's already turning into solid carbon dioxide. There we go. So that goes solid just because it's literally freezing the air inside exactly. it? Exactly. It's freezing the carbon dioxide until the carbon dioxide turns into uh, a solid. Look at that white stuff. See there? What is All it? of that is solid carbon dioxide. What? Okay, I did that. Uh, and that is sometimes called dry ice. Hey, dry ice is the kind of stuff they use in films and television to make smoke. Exactly. Yeah. It's used to make smoke effects. In fact, we've got a whole load mm -hmm. of uh, dry ice here. Right. So I'm going to show you that smoke effect. It's uh, so we're going to turn this uh, uh, dry ice back into a gas right. by adding hot water. So here we go. Okay, let's see it. Oh my god, it's like a horror <laughs> film! <laughs> <That's> <laughs> crazy. Right, and that's uh, not the only <laughs> technique we use in film and telly. This is magic snow, oh, and it yeah. feels a just a bit like sand or powder. And if I put that in there and add this water, watch this. Okay, so first it just goes okay. cloudy. It but... looks like nothing's happened, but give it a few seconds. And hopefully... <gasps> it's going solid. It's growing. I can't believe that's... It's amazing, oh, isn't it? Let me touch this. It's like multiplying. <laughs> Why is that happening? <laughs> well, that powder is actually a <laughs> bit like millions of tiny sponges, OK? But this is very special. It's a polymer, and it's called a super-absorbent polymer because nice. it can absorb so much water mm -hmm. that it grows to 30 times its original size. And it's and constantly make... growing. This it's is unbelievable. Oh, it looks Steve, like it's thank never you ending. so much. Now to something completely <laughs> different. <laughs>